Some Nibosh questions will ask you to comment on a particular issue. And this can be understandably quite a challenging type of question. And I want to give you a, a technique that will hopefully help in answering this type of question. Maybe not in every case, it might not work in every single case of a comment on question, but I've looked back at a few previous papers and it'll work on a, the majority of them. So basically the question that I'm thinking of that I want to use in this video is there was um, a task involving setting suitable health and safety targets. So the, so the uh, bit of preamble was, you propose a health and safety target to help improve health and safety management system performance. You formulate the target action table below. There was four sections to this table. The target itself, the actions required, who's responsible, and the time frame. I'm not going to go through all of it because the video will, would go on and, and be too long. But underneath the table, the actual question was, uh, comment on the suitability of the target action table in helping to improve health and safety management system performance. Okay, so what I want to do is pick out one of those elements of the table. So I'll pick on the target itself. Like I say, the, the table was made up of target, actions required, who is responsible, and time frame for actions. It was a four column table. So the first column was the target. Uh, and in this particular example, the target was to reduce recorded accidents by 50%. And this was a 15 point question. So we don't need to get 15 points on just the target part of it. If you sort of got four points on each of the four columns of the table, you'd end up with a, a solid 16 points there. So I suppose what we're really looking for here is, you know, four, four points. Where the hell do you start with that? That this is, I think, I, I identify with, with what people are, are saying in, in terms of finding it difficult. It's like, where, what, where the hell do you start with this? Well, here's what I think is a good idea. It's helped, it's helped a few people out and it's helped me out when I've been trying to sort of uh, formulate opinions on things because this is, this is a good way to think about these comment on questions is what do you think? What comments do you want to make? Uh, what opinions have you got? And without getting too far down the rabbit hole of how you actually formulate good opinions, it's not uh, you know, a philosophy degree we're doing here. So we just want to find things to comment on. Um, and a good way to think about this is good and bad, or negative and positive. So things can be binary. So you can look at something and then say to yourself, well, what do I think are positive things about this? And then you can flip it and you can say, well, well, now I've done the positive things. What do I think are negative things about it? And really it doesn't matter even if you contradict yourself uh, because you're not being asked to necessarily justify anything here. You're just being asked to comment on it. Let's go through this. So it, what, what we're doing is uh, just to reiterate, what we're going to be doing in this video uh, over the next couple of minutes is commenting on the target of reducing recorded accidents by 50%. Obviously, there's a scenario to this as well, um, several pages long scenario. I'm not going to go through all of that because the um, I don't think I need to for this one. This is where you go back to your, your course notes and see, and by course notes, I mean whatever you whatever your course material is, whether it's online or whether it's a textbook or whatever. And you go into sort of section 2.2, which looks at uh, how health and safety management systems work, because you'll see in the question that uh, it specifically mentions management systems and setting targets are a key part of a health and safety management system. And uh, what, what you can use from your course content is the SMART objectives. So that's what I'm going to use here because uh, Nibosh, it's in the syllabus, Nibosh use, uh, they talk about targets needing to be uh, smart. I don't know if you've heard of smart targets before. Everyone's got, 
you know, there are different versions of the smart targets, but what we want to do obviously is use the version that Nibosh use specific, measurable, achievable, reasonable, and time bound. So we've got five things here that can give us a bit of a structure to then go back to this, uh, this target and say, right, okay, pos again, thinking of what, let's look at the positive things first and then look at specific. Well, reco uh, reduce recorded accidents by 50%. Well, 50% is specific. Okay, so that's a comment. Write it in, write it into your, your box there on your exam paper. 50% is a specific target. And then you could say, okay, going on to the M of SMART, it's also measurable, isn't it? it it's numerical, it's, it's quantitative. So that's another comment. You could point out that 50% is a measurable target. It lends itself to being measured. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quantifiable. Um, so that's another one. Uh, reduce recorded accidents by 50%. Um, you could say that it uh, could help reduce, you could say that it, having the target will help or could help to reduce accidents in the workplace. That's the whole point of the target after all. So that's another comment that you could make. Another one is that having the target could help to raise worker awareness of incidents and accidents in the workplace. And this could also encourage them to report incidents and accidents. So these are a few things here, um, probably more than you'd need on the positive side of things. But like I say, you can flip things and talk about the negative as well. So one thing that came to mind as I was just talking about it then is, is when I said, you know, it could help to improve reporting of accidents. It might also lead to people not reporting accidents because the aim is to reduce, what was it? Reduce recorded accidents by 50%. Well, just don't record the accidents then. You know, that could be a negative thing with that target. So that's a negative, that's contradicting what we said on the positive side, doesn't matter. It's still a comment. And and so we, we're doing what we, we've been asked to do. We're commenting on it. Recorded accidents probably needs a little bit of definition around that. It's not defined what exactly a recorded accident is. Is this a re an accident that we're recording uh, as a riddle reportable? Or is it just an accident that we're recording in our accident book? Um, what was it, 50%? Bit ambitious. So that might be uh, going back to SMART, although it's specific and it's measurable, perhaps the target is not achievable or reasonable. You could use both of those. Is 50% is, is actually achievable? Uh, and is it reasonable to set such an ambitious target? From the scenario, I know I said I wasn't gonna go through the scenario um, in detail, but a bit of information that I will pull out from the, the scenario is that it did say in this particular on this particular exam paper that accidents weren't being recorded. So if accidents weren't being recorded, how can it be reasonable to set a 50% target to reduce record, re, uh, recorded accidents if they weren't even being recorded in the first place? That's, an, that's another negative thing. So by now, uh, I haven't really been keeping uh, track here, but if you consider that there were four columns to the table. So four things you could talk about. And one of the columns, there were, in the, in the actions column, there were two actions. So really there, there, there are five bits of information within this table that you could talk about. Uh, just doing the quick maths, 15 points available, five things to talk about. You need three points. You need to be making three comments on each piece of information and we've been through more than three but in this in this context of positive and negative linking it to the question the question says uh, comment on the suitability of, of the target action table in helping to improve health and safety 
management system performance. It doesn't say comment on the good things and comment on the bad things or the positive things and the negative things. It says pos uh, comment on the suitability. But you can still apply the positive and negative way of looking at it by just thinking about the positive as being suitable and the negative as being unsuitable. But try that. Uh, practice it a few times on, on, on questions. Uh, see how it works. Quite simple, quite a simple one to remember whenever you're faced with this dreaded comment on type of scenario and you know your mind has gone blank, you don't know how to structure this, just immediately think of two columns um, or two lists or two sides to the argument or whatever but think of positive and negative or good or bad or in this context suitable or unsuitable. So I hope that's been useful and as always if you've got your exam coming up soon I wish you the very best of luck with it. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.